um, but our broadband speed is 133 kilobits a second. So you can generally draw the page quicker than it would actually load. So, so my children are 11, 15 years old. Now what I've found is now a lot of uh, their studies, their work, their environment, their social media, it's all done by the internet. Over the last couple of years it's got slower and slower on the broadband connection. Well, it's got slower and slower. There's more and more information going through. Um, they go from Apple trying to download information for films, they can't do that. They go on for their school project work, they find it very hard to do school project work because their broadband breaks, cuts in and out all the time. In fact, one of the daughters had to get up at 2 o'clock the other morning to actually do the homework because she couldn't get onto the system because their broadband was down. And also, within the village, there's, um, there's a lot of businesses um, that work from home, which obviously is the way to go now. But in my case, and three people I speak to, they just cannot download anything. So they happen to go to a central hub somewhere to be able to just do their general day-to-day -day business. See, if there's, there's no advantage now of living in the country. You have to drive into a town to run your company. And so out, out in the rural, we moved up here um, from a town where I had internet connection and it was like instant and you didn't have to wait. Now when I load up, I can basically go downstairs, make a cup of tea, come back on, and it's finally got online. At the times I've lost work as well because it's just cut down before I've had a chance to even back up. It's a nightmare. So, so I, I rent an office in a, in a village nearby, uh, and I go there on a daily basis. Uh, my children, um, they've all been through education, and, and education these days, uh, they're given homework, and that homework is online, so they need to be able to get to it online. And on occasion, my children have been given detention because they couldn't get to that, that homework online. Mm -hmm. uh, as a young person who would use Facebook and social networking, it's just a no-go for me. Mm -hmm. We've got no connection to the internet at all from home now. Mm -hmm. um, well, there, well, there is a possibility of a, a, a dial-up service, but you're talking like four pence a minute for something that's going to take you hours to download per page so it's it's just not viable really so what i'm doing now is either coming five miles down here to sit outside the institute in the car with a laptop or i've got a wi-fi dongle drive around find a signal up the hill um and that's about the best i can do and so you become a second class citizen really you're, you're excluded from a lot of things that, that anybody that's connected to, to um, broadband can get onto. I mean, you get onto trying to find BT because there's a problem with the landline, and they said it's much quicker to contact us online. Well, no, it isn't. <laughs> As a farmer, most of the farming paperwork now is going online, yeah. which you know, we don't have a chance of doing really, and it's just not possible when it's, and it's getting more and more like that each year, and it's, there's no way to go about it. I edit books, a um, pilot books for, uh, for sailors in, 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 in Scotland. There's about five books, which are either going to publishers or printers, and they're quite big files, uh, gigabyte or more, sometimes two gigabytes. And of course it means putting it on a disc and coming down to the post office and posting it off and then waiting for one to come back and all that stuff. So but, uh, as things get more technical and the, the, the pages get more complicated and the, and the programmers that write the pages get lazier and lazier because they assume that uh, people have got a good connection, it, it just does become almost unworkable even for ordinary everyday use. Because I mean, my phone line apparently has been in since 1936, the main one. So, and my phone line comes off that into the valley and it's been broken several times, so it's not very good anyway. And I'm absolutely cross to put it politely, because every advert, everything on the television says, go to our website, do this. I would like to research my family tree. I haven't a cat in hell's chance. The, the response from the community was exceptional. We had 220 people here, uh, much more than what we expect. We expected about 150. Uh, as has been said, it was very passionate, very emotional. The feelings are very strong. There's a lot of anger, but there's also a lot of frustration in the village. Uh, we are aiming, hopefully, to get a very efficient fast broadband connection in the village we we hope within a year whether that's possible i don't know people in the village uh, 
I know of work commitments that they can't uh, carry out work commitments because they can't get a, a good broadband connection. Yeah, uh, you know, my business, I operate all over the UK and um, work with local and central governments and broadband is absolutely essential to what we do and rather than move my business to a better broadband area I quite like living here so uh, you know, if we can improve the facilities here for us then maybe we can improve them for other people as well. And essentially our business wouldn't be here if we didn't have um, the internet and because we have Wi-Fi here it's also become a, a hub for people in the surrounding area who can't get broadband, they come here and they use it, so they'll come with their laptops and have a cup of coffee and, and you know, can get online, and they're very grateful that they're able to do that. You know, we... Everything is online, and we can't go online, and it seems to me that we're not, we're not remote, I hear stories about being able to get signals in other parts of the world that are stronger than ours. But there's no way I can do my video business with this kind of broadband speed. Now, to give you a couple of examples. I have got uh, one of my DVDs does need a little bit more promotion than uh, I could give it. And the obvious thing, an American friend of mine said, oh, you want to put it online, you know, and, uh, and everybody will then download it for a micro payment. I said, absolutely no way can I even consider doing that. What Anything that needed sort of uh, fast speeds, well, I had to either go back to my campus at Hartlepool which is like a 75 mile round trip, or uh, go to an internet cafe, which are noisy and you can't work in those places. So for, for three years, I found it very, very difficult. Um, very tiring, very costly. The extra cost that it's, take, um, it's taken out of my budget has been astronomical. And, you know, I can't get anything. I mean, you mentioned Skype earlier mm -hmm. I can't get that you know it just doesn't connect um, it's appalling because um, if you can't get online to, to get into the government to bodies you, you need your passwords and things to do it yourself then you've got to go somewhere else um, which is obviously time effort and fuel costs at this uh, poor broadband connection we don't have any um, <laughs> we're on a, a, a farming yeah. business uh, I have two kids who do a need to be able to do uh, homework online. Uh, I have uh, all the personal things that we do on the internet. It's a nightmare without it. Mm -hmm. uh, um, we have additional issues with, um, with education. We have two children, 10 and 14, both of whom require the internet to uh, conduct their education and that's virtually impossible. Uh, we also have difficulties when we have more than one uh, piece of uh, equipment operating. Uh, again, it can freeze and go off. Um, well, I'm, I often get given homework at school that I have to research topics on the internet and things like that. And often I can't complete them to like the best I should be able to because I can't access the right internet and I have to do it on my phone internet, mm. which is rough, which is like most of the time really slow. And then I just don't get all the information down and then I can't, I just get in trouble. I have to do it again on the school. So. Well, like all my friends are playing like online on their Xboxes and things like that and they're always talking about that and they're always talking about what they've like everything to do with the internet really and it's just frustrating when I can't really talk to them about it.